we can finally see the humerus bone, the radius, and the ulna. Remember, the elbow joint is a hinge joint. Hinge just like a door moving, just two directions, flexion and extension. The supination and pronation is actually happening at the radio ulna joint, which is a joint below the elbow joint. So really, there are two joints here, but we're only going to focus on the top one. Here we can see the joint capsule, the fibrous capsule, which is lined with synovial fluid. Now, before we go even deeper, you can see how it's covering the entirety, and you can see certain ligaments visible here. The ones coming from the ulna are collateral ligaments, ulnar collateral ligaments. You have the anterior part of the ulnar collateral ligament. You have the posterior part of the ulnar collateral ligament. And then there was also a transverse part, which should be visible here. Here we go. The transverse part of the ulnar collateral ligament. Three ligaments from the ulnar side. These were also, I think, contributing a bit towards the ulnar uh, canals, but that was mostly by the muscles, the flexor, carpi, ulnaris. Separate, we'll do those later. Bursa you see right here is the olecranon bursa. And this is the same bursa which is inflamed in students' elbow. Students, you know, uh, commonly tend to put their elbows on their desk again and again and keep on rubbing them. So this bursa can get inflamed. So let's hide this one. Here we can see the anconius muscle, a small muscle, but still important nonetheless. And I will finally remove the extensor muscles here. Here, this one, you gotta be careful not to remove the joint capsule. And over here we can see the radial lig collateral ligaments. We have the, sorry, this is the uh, ulnar collateral, it's coming, because you can see it's coming from the ulnar side. But it's a lateral one, so it's more laterally placed. This one right over here, this one is your ladle collateral because it's extending from the radius. But the one which is growing in a circumferential way, this is an annular ligament. It's important as it holds the head of the radius. If the head were to slip down from this, you would call this subluxation of the radius. Commonly happens in children when you pull from their hands or their arms and suspend them like that. So this thing can actually subluxate. So these are the ligaments which support the elbow joint. Ignore the ones on the bottom. These are the ones which are actually part of the uh, radio ulnar joint. We won't be looking at these. 